Hello and welcome. I am Raghav from Automation Step by Step and today we are going to go very basic step by step and we are going to learn how to use Cypress with TypeScript. So this is going to be very easy and very interesting. Let us see at the prerequisites first. So you will need some IDE. I am going to use Visual Studio Code, you can use any IDE that you are using and then we also need support for JavaScript and TypeScript added on your IDE. Let me show you for Visual Studio Code. Now just in case you do not have Visual Studio Code, you can go to my website that is automationstepbystep.com and here if you scroll down you will find a section for IDE and editors and you will find Visual Studio Code. This will take you to my YouTube playlist on Visual Studio Code where you can see all the beginner tutorials on how to use Visual Studio Code and how to get started. And then after you have got Visual Studio Code or any editor, you can open it. So I'm going to open Visual Studio Code. And now as you open Visual Studio Code, you will see here we have support for tools and languages. And you can see in my case, JavaScript is already added. And if I click on more, it will open the extensions, this extension section and here you can search for TypeScript. So if you want and you do not have TypeScript, you can search here and install it. And then uh, you can also go to this extension section and add Code Runner. Now Code Runner is a plugin that helps to run the code directly and you can see this is the code runner this play button comes after you have got this code runner so this is for visual studio code but if you are using some other editor you can add the required dependencies for javascript and typescript and then we need node.js and again if you go to your terminal or your command line if you are on windows you can go to your command prompt and if you are on mac or linux you can go to your terminal and say node space hyphen v or node space hyphen hyphen version this will give you the version of node in case you do not get it i will tell you how to get this you can also check for npm npm is node package manager which comes along with node.js now just in case you are not getting this versions and you are getting something like command not found or not available you can go again to my website automation step by step and here you can go to the apm playlist and this will again take you to my YouTube playlist for APM. And here in the initial sections of the video, how to install APM on Windows and how to install APM on Mac OS, I have shown how to install Node.js. So you can take reference from these videos in case you do not have Node.js. So this was the prerequisite. Now, starting with step number one, we have to create a new folder on any location on your system. So I will go to my folder location and let me go to D drive. I have a projects folder or uh, let me create a new folder here. I will call this as Cypress with TypeScript and inside this folder. Now I can open Visual Studio Code and open this folder. So this is step number two. I have to open this folder in VS Code. So I can go to my Visual Studio Code and here I can either go to help and welcome screen and open a folder from here or I can go to file and open folder from here or what I can do is I will open command line on this folder. I can say cmd here directly and hit enter it will open command prompt directly on this projects folder. I will say code and I will say Cypress with TypeScript and this will open this folder in Visual Studio Code and you can see it has opened the folder here in Visual Studio Code. I will expand this and now we have done step number two. Step number three is I will open the terminal and run the command npm init minus y. So on Visual Studio Code I can go here and say new terminal or I can press control and backtick key on my keyboard backtick key is the key below the escape key and it will again open the terminal here and here i will run the command npm init now this command initializes a node 
project and the reason I am doing this is I want to keep all the node packages, all the libraries, all the dependencies of this project within this folder and I do not want to install anything globally. So I will add TypeScript, I will add Cypress locally to this folder. The advantage is it is very clean, everything will be within this folder. I am not installing anything globally on the system. I can take this folder, take my project to any system and I can just say npm install and my folder location and it will take care of all the dependencies and everything for this project. So this is a very clean way of creating a node project. So I will say npm in it. Now if I run this command, I will have to answer some questions but if I want to go with all the default answers, I will say minus y and hit enter and basically this will create a package.json file and you can see this has created this package.json where we can manage all the dependencies for this project if i now open this folder you can see package.json is created and when i will add typescript and cypress you will see all these information all the information about the packages will come here so i have done step number three i will now say npm install cypress and then i will say npm install typescript now you can also do this in a single command like npm install cypress space typescript but let me show you one by one so here i will again go to my terminal i can clear everything and i will say npm install cypress and you will see the changes in package.json file as well so this is installing Cypress on this local folder and you did you see the change here as the package was added a dependency section is created in package.json and the Cypress version that is added has come here. Now in case you want to add a particular version of Cypress you can also say npm install Cypress at and whatever version you want you can do it like this as well. So for now I will run the next command that is npm install uh, typescript so this will install typescript on this folder inside this project and yes this is done again you can see typescript dependency is added in package.json we have done step number three step number four is now I have to initialize a new tsconfig.json file and I can do this either manually I can create a tsconfig.json file and then add all the data required or I can use this command npx tsc hyphen hyphen init hyphen hyphen types and then cypress lib dom and es6 now what this actually means is this will ensure that the types for cypress are accessible by typescript and these types depend on dom and es6 so we pass them as lib option to typescript now just in case you are completely beginner with typescript as well you can always check my typescript beginner tutorials you will find them in the on my website you will find them under programming i'm yet to add that here so i will add that very soon i also have javascript here also you can directly go to my channel automation step by step and you can find that hit there as well so i will run this command here and hit enter and you can see it has successfully created a tsconfig.json file if i go here all this is added here as we have mentioned in our command you can also see some description here so this specifies this target version specify libraries files to be included all these things are done if i scroll down you will also find for cypress it has added all the types and yes you can see it has added types for cypress so now you can work with cypress with typescript and then we have done step number four step number five is now i will say npx cypress open and because we are running the npm command or a npm package or a node package command locally therefore we have to use npx so now i will say npx cypress open and let us wait and see it should open the cypress ui and yes it has opened it and you will see it has also created a project structure for cypress and you will see the integration folder 
you will see examples and all these folders will be there let me close this or let me just collapse it and let me take you to this project structure for Cypress you will see a Cypress folder now under this you will see fixtures in one of the earlier sessions I have discussed about this structure what are the different folders and what all they contain then integration integration is the folder where we will write all our tests and you can see some examples which are already provided just for reference for now I will delete the examples folder so that I can create a new test or a new spec file we have plugins support everything here and also you can see node modules as I told you earlier all the project dependencies and everything is maintained within this local folder and that is why we are having a node modules folder with all the dependencies all the packages that we are using here so now I will go to the integration folder and create a new file a new test file called basic.ts the name does not matter you can use any name I will go to integrations folder here and click on this new file icon I can also do a right click and say new file let me just click here and I will say basic.ts so this is a TypeScript file and now I can start creating my test so I will use a it block because Cypress uses the Mocha test tunnel so I'm going to use the same format for Mocha we have to give a it block and inside this I will give the title and you can see we are also getting all the IntelliSense and auto suggestions so let me say I want to create a very simple Google test and then I will give a comma and the function I have to create a function and curly bracket start and stop and I will hit enter so now I can start creating my test case so for Cypress we use the keyword or the command cy and as I press dot you can see I am getting all the auto suggestion I will say cy dot visit and then I will go to the web page for Google that is https colon forward slash forward slash google dot com and let me also see here so I will go to google.com and yes it should come here and let us say after going here I want to say I want to go to this particular text box so let me just run this and check I will save this go to my Cypress UI in case you have closed this you can always run the command npx cypress open and then I will click on basic.ts and let us see what happens it opens a chrome browser and it is loading our test and it is going to google.com and yes this is done let me stop this and rerun again this is working fine and now you can see we have a open selector playground I can go here and hover over any of the element or object so I will go to this search box and it has given me this command cy.get I can copy this and paste in my code here so I can say cy.get and this particular object with this locator so dot means class so it, it is having a class property with this name I can also show you this manually I will go here to google.com do a right click on the search box and say inspect and here you will see this has a class property and the name is glfyf which is what Cypress has used now just in case you do not want to use what Cypress has suggested you can always go and check so if I see this also has a name property and the name is Q I can also use this so I can say here instead of this I can say within single quotes I will give square brackets and I will say name equals and within double quotes I will give the value Q and then I can chain other commands I will use type type is again a command from Cypress and you can see I'm getting auto suggestion so let us say I want to type here automation step by step and then if you want you can move this into a new line for easy readability and then after this I want to 
hit enter so I will say here enter or if you want it to be in a next line you can again say dot type and inside single quotes and curly brackets I will say enter and again I can put this in a new line for easy readability so here we are typing this in the search box and then press enter I will save this and as I save you can see it has started execution and this is all running fine let me refresh or let me run all the test again and show you and you can see everything is working fine so we have done step number six we have actually done step number seven as well we have added the code and we have ran and verify so our cypress is working fine with typescript now you will see that uh, in cypress there is a lot of built-in commands so you can always use these built-in commands and always you can uh, create your own custom commands in a TypeScript file whenever you have to and I will show you that later. So I hope all this was very useful for you. Please share your knowledge with everyone and if you have liked this video please hit the like button and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will see you in the next session. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.